Hello, my name is Kim from Moss Rock Solutions. And in this video, I will demonstrate how to download and install Claris FileMaker Pro 2023 and access your custom solution. Before we begin, make sure you have these items. If you have not received this information from your developer here at Moss Rock Solutions, then please stop this video and contact us at support at mossrock.com so you can have everything you need before you proceed. Now, to continue, I am using a server edition of Windows and my browser is Chrome. Your operating system and browser may look different, but the functionality will be the same. Using the link you received from us to your electronic software download page, either click on the link or paste it into your browser. This page is also known as the license page, and it should look similar to this. First, we will download the license certificate. So hover over the word download and click the link. Once it has downloaded, there is nothing else to do. It is in your downloads folder. Neither the folder nor the file need to be opened or moved. The license certificate just needs to be present in the downloads folder as the installation process will use it shortly. Next, scroll down to the Claris software section and you will see the different versions of FileMaker available for download. The plus button opens a section and shows the available links. The X button closes the section. You need to open the section for the version of Claris FileMaker you were instructed to download. I am demonstrating installation of Claris FileMaker 2023. Click the plus next to Claris FileMaker 2023. These are the relevant links and we will be installing Claris FileMaker Pro 2023. I will be demonstrating a Windows installation. A Mac installation will have a similar process. As I click on the Windows link, the download begins. It will take a few moments depending on your computer's speed. Once the FileMaker Pro installer has downloaded, you can open it. Other browsers may have a run option or possibly you could double click the installer in your downloads folder. I am choosing to open and run the installer here. We will step through the installation process using the default responses. I will choose English as the setup language. And as the setup wizard begins, I will generally be clicking next to choose default options. You may or may not see the FileMaker Pro 20 setup window. As you step through this process, there may be other supporting packages that are required for the installation and running of FileMaker Pro. If they are not already on your computer, you will be prompted for them. If this occurs, install them using their defaults. Once you see the FileMaker Pro setup window, click Next. At this point, the license certificate was automatically found. If the license key is not visible in this field, you can click the Browse for Certificate button. And if you are not already in your downloads folder, you can navigate to it, click the license certificate file, and then open it. It should automatically populate the license certificate field. Click Next to continue. There is no need to change the destination folder. Click Next. We are going to use a complete setup, so click the Complete button. You can use shortcuts or not. I prefer to use them, so I will leave these checkboxes as is and click Next. And then 
I will click install. As the process runs, you will see status updates. Remember, you may be prompted to install other supporting packages required for FileMaker Pro. Install them using their default settings. The setup wizard for FileMaker Pro 20 is complete, so I will click finish. You can also close your electronic software download page in the entire browser if you would like to. You may be prompted at this point for registration of FileMaker Pro, but this is optional. So if you're prompted, you can skip that step. I had a shortcut installed, so I'm going to use the shortcut and double click to open FileMaker Pro. I will accept the terms of the software license and then click the accept button. And if everything was properly installed, your FileMaker Pro window should look like this. Let's complete a couple of additional tasks that are necessary for you to access your solution. First, set up your default username preference. Click on Edit and then Preferences and position your cursor in the username field. We're going to set this field to the personal FileMaker account name you were given to access your solution. This setting will save you from having to retype your account name every time you log in. So once you have that set, click OK. Next, we're going to set your solution's favorite. So click the Favorites button and then Add App from Hosts and then click the plus button. In the Hosts Internet Address field, type or paste your company's host internet address also known as the host name. For demonstration purposes, I am using a test host name. Click Save. And it is possible, depending on the version of your FileMaker server and its settings, that you may be required to put in your FileMaker account name and password in order to see your file on the server. This is an optional additional layer of security. So if you are prompted to enter your password, enter the password you were assigned and click sign in. You should then see the icon for your app. Click on it once and then click OK. And you have now created a favorite. To enter your app, double click this icon. Enter your account name and your password. If it is the first time you are logging into your app, you should be prompted at this point to change your password. Make sure you write it down and save it in your password keeper. And that's it. You have set up FileMaker Pro to access your solution for the first time. Now, you need to go through verification process. So close FileMaker completely by clicking the X in the corner of your solution. Use your shortcut to FileMaker Pro to open FileMaker again. It should open to your favorites window. Double click on your icon and you should be prompted to enter your account name and password. If you changed your password a moment ago, make sure you use your new password when logging on. And if your solution opens, you have successfully installed FileMaker Pro and given it access to your solution. Let us know if you have any trouble along the way with this process. Your support staff here at Moss Rock Solutions is here for you, and we want to help you be successful. You can email us at support at mossrock.com with any questions or needs of any kind. Thank you very much. This concludes the demonstration of how to install Clara's FileMaker Pro 2023 and access your solution.